Had to get a good early morning workout. Had to run back and get the Apple Watches real quick. I was telling the wifey, man, it's like when you leave the watch, it's like your workout never happened. It's just like a, I don't know. It's just like I went to the gym just to just do nothing. You don't agree, babe? Yeah. <laughs> Both sets of six. Let's get into it. Both sets of six, 225. Yeah, <laughs> Whenever, however. Just me snacking in the in the in the weight room. Hey, just cause we on vacation, don't mean the fitness goals stop. We won't put it on pause. We won't put it on pause, do we, babe? Uh, if you don't talk about it. <laughs> We won't put the fitness goals on pause just because we're on VK and you shouldn't either. But yeah, y'all, so um a day in the life. Uh only thing we did is woke up and went to the gym so far. But I'm excited because today is the day that I finally get a chance to see my favorite team play. I've been a Lakers fan as long as I can remember. Uh, as far as I can remember back, I've been a Lakers fan. You know, um a lot of people like to say, well, you ain't no Lakers fan, you're a Kobe fan. That's true. Even when Kobe stopped playing, still a fan. Through the down times and all, and you know, we having a little struggle season right now. You know, um, but I feel like they're gonna they're gonna pull it together. They're gonna get it together. And uh hopefully they can get this win for us tonight. Hopefully when I get on here to wrap this video up, um, I'm gonna actually wrap this video up. I have a, a bad habit of not closing out my videos, but when I close this one out, you know, hopefully I'll be, you know, full of some good wings and beer. And me and my baby, we on cloud nine because LA just beat the Mavs at home. So, no, LA just beat the Mavs in Dallas. So, that's what we hoping for. So, uh, finna get bath, showers, get grub and all that stuff. I'll see y'all on the next, whatever we do next. <laughs> but my wife, she loves tea. So, I'm going to be a sweet husband. I'm gonna make her a nice cup of tea that's gonna be waiting on her when she get out the shower. So, we're gonna go with the daily detox tea. It's green tea, hibiscus, flowers, spearmint, lemongrass, rose hips, and Serbian ginseng root. I hope I pronounced that right. So I'm thinking either that one or the infusion to kind of start the morning off. Babe. Huh? What, what tea would you like me to make? The the one with the hibiscus? Huh? What Which tea would you want to try? The Daily Detox tea has green tea, hibiscus flowers, spearmint, lemongrass, rose hips, and Serbian ginseng root. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, the infusion has apple plus fennel, good for digestion. Um, then you got a regular peppermint green tea, a chai, a chi? chai, chai tea, chai. I was gonna say chai, and a chamoli. What, bro? What are you talking about, man? Yeah, cameo. Which one of those sound appealing? Uh, uh, I've tried hibiscus since I never tried it. Hibiscus? Oh. I have tried it before, but it's been a long time. Yeah, you ain't never had it like this. Like, I'm finna make it. Smells good, nice and rich. Oh man, nice and organic.
whoop up some breakfast for my baby. My big baby. That wasn't gonna wait till I get up. He ain't gonna say anything. Well, I was already on um, playing on too. Cook, babe. Check me out. I got six. Mmm. It's not just trying to sell it on. I ain't getting in the camera. Okay, that's fine. As long as I can hear your sweet voice. And then I still walk past him. Because you want that air time. What do we buy? Bacon eggs? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Bacon eggs and. Uh, bagel. Bacon, eggs, and bagel. We're having bacon, eggs, and bagel for breakfast. We ain't get no That's type of oatmeal or grits. No type of oatmeal. What was we thinking? I thought they would have had oatmeal. How many eggs do you usually cook for yourself? Two? Two. So four? Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to go with the big bone. This will be dramatic. You know, I'm from the hood, we don't have actual teapots where I come from. So whenever I see this done on TV, I usually always see the, this thing right here jumping and, and hissing and stuff. That's what I was waiting on. I was waiting on that effect, but I guess it ain't gonna do it. But this thing ain't gonna hiss. Oh, you don't even touch that. I'm tripping. Okay. I'm pretty sure somebody in the comments gonna tell me why this thing ain't his. Leave it to y'all asses. Leave it to y'all know it all. It might be the hottest. Highest cup of tea my baby ever had. Oh, there's a little sprinkle of salt in him. A little sprinkle of him laying salt. That'll do right there. Sometimes I have to get in that thing and water whip and remind her, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna use the olive oil, the pepper, utensils, but we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna eat that oatmeal. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see that. So the, the olive oil, the pepper, and the salt is free game. The oatmeal, we ain't chancing it. The, what? it ain't even like that. <laughs> the tea, who gonna drink that? That's why you say you gonna help me eat the popcorn last night. Huh? You talking about wait? Two. 
This right here is a prime example of it's the thought that counts. Because those of you guys out there that just saw me put those two tea bags in that little ass cup, my tea drinkers, y'all already know what's about to happen. You know what I do? You know what I do. Stop playing with that guy. There you go. You, what is this? What is this? A fork in Come on, hand. man. You know what time it is. And look, I don't know how much you want in there. Open that up for you like that. Sorry, I didn't have a serving tray. So I'm just put that on the bed like that. And uh, when you're done with that, just put your dishes right there. <laughs> and I'll take it back to the kitchen for you. Well, babe, I was going to ask you how the food yeah, was, but <laughs> your plate said all. I ain't going to get you on. See, I wasn't even going to get you on camera until you start covering your face. Now nah, I got you. I got about 20% of your face. All right, so the time is now. Late show, we on the way, baby. Let's go. Oh, babe, we headed to see the Lakers play. Hey, when I met this girl, man, hold on, let me let me cut the music down. Let me let me cut kid, cut it down real quick. Look, when I met this girl, she was a young Lakers fan. I was a young Lakers fan. Now here we are, united. Wait, twelve years later. And we headed to see our Lakers play. Oh, I, I man, I'm, I feel like a little kid. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And then this game matters. It matters because, you know, the Lakers, man, they ain't been doing too well this year. You know, uh, been struggling a lot. Um, really because, you know, the, the Stars haven't been able to, you know, well, let me stop making excuses. They ain't been playing well. You know, ninth seed right now. They got to win this game tonight to stay alive uh, for any shot at the playoffs. The Mavs are already in the playoffs. So I'm hoping that they, you know, come in the game laxed. You know they are in the playoffs, so they just trying to just chill. That's what I'm hoping their mindset is. And the Lakers, you know, uh, win this game by 15. I'm, I'm thinking the Lakers going to win by 15 tonight. So hopefully me and Sadie, you know, we'll bring our good energy. And, you know, um, the team will feel that, feel our vibrations, and, you know, um, put on a good show for us. Let's go. Let's go, L.A. Level four. I'm finna go down so we can be under. Bro, is that a movie theater? That's not a movie theater, bro. It is. What's the not this? Yeah, I'm finna go down to level uh, four. I mean, three. I don't want to get the top. What is this? This four? Mm -hmm. Closest to the to exiting. Okay, so right there where that truck is, where the F-150. Yeah, let's get it close to the exit. So, just in case there's a line, we can bag on up. Right. A little right space here? over. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. You can do that right here. That way, we just pull out and just go on here down the down the mountain right there. My baby, y'all parking in her strong suit. She good at a Watch lot of other her. things. And make sure ain't nothing uh, sitting out in the belt. I got so excited, dog. I'm trying to contain myself. I'm trying to contain myself right now. I'm gonna scream, babe. Probably, probably gonna have a boy tomorrow. Not the way I'm gonna talk like Come on, Russ. Seem like a dork getting a picture right here, but I got to. Yeah. 
escalator. So right about now, we're just trying to figure it out. <laughs> First time was here. I'm just 200 platinum. 200 platinum, platinum level, baby. <laughs> yeah, please. Camera. I got, I got. That's crazy, bro. I was just watching them on TV two days ago. <laughs> Let's go, Dwight. We need a big game, honey. You know this anniversary, right? Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, y'all. Thank you. Should I've been waiting on. Boom. Some grub. I would like to say we beat the traffic on parking. We beat the crowd with people coming in. We beat the crowd with people looking for food. It's just been a smooth, 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 like, uh, I don't know. It's just been a smooth date so far. I'm just loving it. Because my babe, she said uh, we should leave 90 minutes early. We'll get there 90 minutes early. We actually left about two and a half hours game time for tip off so we just chilling while right? everybody else running around like chicken with their head cut out we just we just chilling Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> bro, why we keep letting Lucas go to the rack, bro? Oh my god. This is the second time. Good date, damn good experience. I enjoyed shit. At least watching Luca cook, shit. The future of the one of the future, uh, you know, greats of the league or whatever. So it was good to be able to see that live and up close. Um, but man, Lakers, man, I don't know what we need to do. We need to do something though, cause we can't do too much longer. This. Well, they need some. We need to get rid of some people. They need some people who play some hood ball out there or something, cause them niggas is acting soft. Yeah, yeah. For real. The low morale. No energy. No, no energy. energy. Don't want to be there. Don't want to be there. Gave no. up before the game even started. So. They lost before the game but even started. I ain't gonna see. It's a lesson in this though. Before it, but Luca was the first one on that court that I saw today. Warming up before the actual team did warm ups. He was out there doing his own pre warm, his uh warm up, and uh I mean it's the little Don't shit like that, that because it do that. it shows, do it shows, it shows game time. Luca came out there ready. Some of them same shots that he was hitting, um when he was you know the first one out there sh putting up his shots. Some of them same shots he was out there making. Um. Some of the same shots he was out there making, he was making in the game. So she stripped. It's nothing you can do. No point in crying about the line. Just go. And it right back. Man, why she was so stressed right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, like this. She had like this. She ain't never been in traffic before. Like you ain't never been to a game. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna wrap up this video. As y'all saw, you know, this night pretty much went like. The entire season has went, you know, so it was no uh, surprise, you know, there. But still have fun. Still was a great date night, you know. And um, it's just amazing how everything just came full circle because uh, when I met Mercedes, you know, uh, I was a, a Kobe fan at the time. I was a Lakers fan as well. And uh, she was a Kobe fan. And, you know, and so that's one thing, a mutual interest that we had. You know, uh, both of our, you know, favorite player was Kobe. And so, 
you know, that was a great conversational piece, you know, at the time. And so, you know, just been able to stick by the Lakers this long and, you know, history tells us they'll be back, you know. Um, but just from what I saw, man, tonight was kind of like, you know, what I've been seeing on TV all year, you know, certain people need to go, you know. And uh, to be honest with you, it, it takes time to build something special. And a lot of these players playing with each other for the first time, we live in this society where everybody just want things, this instant gratification things right now and stuff like that. And truth of the matter is, you know, Braun and AD and, and Russ, they ain't spent that much time on the court together. Not making excuses, but, I mean, that's that's facts, you know. So uh, I feel like if, if they can keep those three together, um, create the right pieces around them and just build on that foundation, I feel like they'll be all right. You know, uh, a lot of people forget that Russ, man, he didn't dominate it, I mean, literally consistently for the past decade. You know, I know since I've been in – college you know i don't know when russ got in the league maybe 11 2010 something like that i can't remember but he's been dominating that long you know so uh it's kind of funny that this year where you know um, a guy coming to a new squad uh with these high expectations and all of that and you know um going through a few challenges and people forgetting who the man is you know i don't think that's fair but you know it is what it is you know i have confidence that that you know our squad will eventually turn around but anyway all in all, today was a phenomenal day. It was my first time ever attending a Lakers game and doing it with my wife. You know, it was just the icing on the cake. You know, we drank good. We ate good. I mean, we ate good all day, but we really ate good at the game. You know, I don't know what it is with her and these, uh, what is what did we have? Brisket, brisket nachos. We had about two days in a row now. You know, uh, I ain't gonna lie, Texas, man, y'all, hey, hey, the tacos, the burritos, like all the Mexican crew here, yeah, it be busting. Um, but anyway, I ain't gonna see and talk y'all head off, man. I, I appreciate y'all sticking around and, uh, you know, just hanging out with us today. But uh, see y'all on the next video. It's Deuce the Dope Dad. I'm signing out. Go ahead, before you leave this video, hit that like button, um, drop a comment. Uh, on the video and do all that other stuff that the YouTubers tell y'all to do. Give me that same type of love. I'll see y'all in the next video.